Hey, what's going on? YouTube, Rylan here. And I snagged one of the Rep Deep Neural Stainless Power Bars uh, when they were on sale. I believe that was around Father's Day. I got this uh, shipped to the house for around $300 on sale. So this is my first Rep real barbell that I bought. So let's stay tuned. I'm gonna pull it out live. I have not looked at this thing, so it's in the tube. We'll pull it out and see what happens. All right, stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. So we're gonna pull this barbell out of here. This is from Rep Fitness and this is their deep neural stainless power bar. I've heard a lot of good things about this bar from other people online. And first thing I'm gonna point out is, you'll notice the end of this tube is open. This is exactly how I got it. I haven't touched this thing, I haven't looked at it or nothing. So hopefully it's not damaged, but the other end was good. I'll show you a picture of the other end. It was completely um, um, sealed up. But this is how it arrived off the UPS truck. So we got a fully open end, which if you guys know with barbells, this is a bad omen, this is never good, but maybe we get lucky today. So I'm still wrestling with a bad shoulder, so I'm gonna see if I can get this thing out of the tube here. Now the good news is, is I don't have to do anything to get it out of the tube because the end's already open. Okay, here we go. All right, pull that down. Now, just to show you guys how this is packed, this is the packaging here as I'm pulling it out. Uh, there we go. Just slam this guy right up on the rack here. So, Rep ships their stuff completely covered in plastic. It's got the foam on the ends. It's got your little card here from Rep. Uh, talking about, thank you for buying it. Um, thank you for your purchase. You know, if you got any questions, reps, warranties, that type of stuff. Okay, so let's pull this off here. And it's got a little elastic band on the end to help hold the foam on there. This end here is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna move the camera and we'll kind of, we'll just look at the other side there. Okay, so now, moment of truth here. I'm probably not in the frame, but let's see. Let's pull, let's just pull this, this plastic back. And, oh man. We got lucky. So I'll show you on the, on the camera. Oop. Got super lucky on this. No damage on the end. So it's safe to say that the, the bar never came out of the, out of the actual tube in, in uh, shipping. So got lucky, man. I feel for everybody. We've all been there where you get a barbell, you're super excited and the thing shows up damaged and it's always on the end cap. It's always scraped there, so I got lucky today. Rep does a good job with their packaging, but just like every other company, every company out there, Rogue, Rep, everyone, once in a while you have one where the, the, the barbell will come out. Um, that's just one of, the, one of the things we have to deal with as, as garage gym owners is barbells showing up damaged. So today we got lucky. This thing is, is mint. I'm gonna pull the plastic off. All right, it's gonna be some editing in this video for sure. I'm kind of dancing around here, moving around a lot. So, here's the bar on the top. So you're probably wondering, okay, there's two other bars here in front of me. So just to catch up on where I'm at on this, this bar here is the one that you just saw me take out of the tube. This is the Rep Fitness Deep Neural Power Bar. The one below it here is one that I'm really famous for using and also promoting. And this is the one called the Iron Skull Power Bar from Bear Steel. I really like this bar. And then of course, the one below me is the Rogue Power Bar, Ohio Power Bar, 
29 millimeter bar. And this Rogue bar here is the industry uh, standard, really. It's something that we all kind of compare off of. Rogue makes really good barbells, there's no doubt about that. And I like to use their bars as a comparison tool so we can see how others compare. So, first off, um, the, the overall quality, I must say, is really nice on this rep bar. The stainless sleeves are absolutely awesome. They are smooth, they're not ribbed, so that's something that uh, looks really awesome. The bushings on it actually look really good too, and I'll show you pictures of this in the B-roll, but they look like a stainless type of, I know they're gonna be a, a, a bronze or copper bushing, but the way that they're pressed in there with a nice stainless um, insert looks awesome. I like the size of the sleeves, they're not too skinny. I would compare the sleeves in terms of this thick, thick part here to be identical to the Ohio Power Bar. Now I'll get, some, I'll get the tape measure out here in a little bit and we'll do some measurements. I'm just going over overall fit and finish and feel. Um, knurling is really nice. Uh, it is definitely aggressive, but I would call it grippy. I wouldn't say this is the type of knurling that's going to tear up your hands and I don't, wouldn't say that it's super sharp. Now, man, here's how I would describe these three different knurlings. Again, this is just straight up feel in my hands. I haven't trained with it obviously yet, just got it out of the package. So I would say, and just in feel, Ohio Power Bar is definitely a little bit bulkier in terms of the neur neural. It is very grippy, we all know that. The Iron Skull Power Bar is more aggressive. Out of these three bars here, Iron Skull has more aggressiveness to the neural. I can definitely feel it biting into my hands. I would say it's a deeper neural. The Rep Deep Neural is very grippy. It's a little more neural per square inch, if that makes sense. It's sharp, but finer than, say, the Iron Skull. Now, man, it's a grippy bar. This is a great bar. I would put this bar, in terms of its grip, somewhere between the Iron Skull and the Ohio Power Bar. Um, it, is, it is awesome. It's definitely more aggressive than the Ohio bar, and it's also a lot more grippy. If that makes sense, it's not um, as rough of a cut as the Ohio power bar. You can see the knurling is a lot um, bulkier or chunkier in the Ohio bar compared to the rep bar. However, the rep bar has a lot of grip to it, and it's a full mountain style uh, neural. So, Okay, let's look a little bit more at the knurling. The knurling is, it's not bad. The termination on the bar where the uh, knurling ends and goes back into the smooth section, it's not bad. I would say that would be one fault with it. You can see the, uh, the knurl sort of tapers off, but not super cleanly. It's got a little bit of a sort of a lighter spot to it. That's not gonna affect the training of it. It's just a me nitpicking the bar, really. Um, Overall feels awesome and stainless on it looks awesome. The fit and finish of the stainless is perfect. The sleeves look great. I don't see any issues there. Um, let's have a look and see how the diameter shakes out. We are 29 millimeters on the smooth part and 29.6 on the actual knurling. The iron skull is 29.2 on the knurling, and the Ohio Power Bar is 29.5. So 29.5, 29.2, and 29.6. Sometimes I get comments about that. Uh, people say, oh, you, 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 you bought a bar and it's not exactly 29 millimeters. Guys, so the way that works is 29 millimeters is the actual unknurled part of the shaft, that's where you're gonna get your measurements, 29, 28 and a half, or uh, 30, whatever it is. Then when they knurl the shaft of the barbell, the way the knurling machine works is it actually rolls over this material and presses it 
uh, die into the flat part of the shaft. So it displaces the material down and then up. So of course your knurling is gonna be a little bit thicker than this. It just has to be for the knurling to work. And depending on how aggressive your knurling is, it's gonna be even more pronounced and it's gonna be a larger diameter. That's why this bar here is nearly the same diameter as the Ohio Power Bar. So, okay, so first impressions on this rep stainless bar is, yeah, um, for, the, for the sale price of the, around $300, I think it was on sale for, $297, something like that, uh, including shipping plus taxes, of course. For the sale price, I am very happy with it, very impressed. It has the power bar, um, power bar marks on it, and of course all, these, all three of these do. And let's, uh, let's compare overall length. Okay, I just finished doing some measurements and the Ohio Power Bar overall length, 86 and a half. This rep stainless power bar is 86 and a quarter. The actual sleeve loading area is identical to the Rogue Bar. It's about an inch more than the Iron Skull Bar. And another feature that's actually really cool about the sleeves on this rep bar is they are smooth. They, I do have followers that people that message me, they only use smooth barbells. For me, it's never been something that I've even really worried about. It hasn't been an issue to me, but I've been told they like the smooth barbells because of noise if they're working out in their home gym. It doesn't make noise when you're racking the plates on and off. So, okay, fair play, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so smooth sleeves, stainless sleeves, full stainless bar, you don't have to oil this thing, no maintenance. Um, for $300 from rep, this is the bar I would recommend. And I don't, you, you know my channel, I, I'm always recommending the Iron Skull, I really like the bare steel bars and I still do. But if you're looking for a stainless bar that's got aggressive knurling, some nice knurling on it, I highly recommend you look at the rep bar. Uh, for $300 shipped, that's a great deal if you can catch it on a sale price. And yeah, awesome bar. Again, fully stainless. I think you cannot go wrong with this. And yeah, so thanks for watching my initial impression on the rep deep neural EX power bar. Check it out today and yeah, use our affiliate link if you want to support the channel. And we really appreciate that. And we just end up reviewing more equipment and giving you guys comparisons like this. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. See you.